Hey guys, this is a 2016 570X MR Can-Am. Um, I installed a winch because I didn't feel like it was necessary to pay the dealership to do it for me. Um, I went with the Can-Am Terra 35 Super Winch. It comes with everything you need to install this. It is specifically made just for Can-Ams and I'll show you a couple of features that it has that you probably won't get if you buy a different winch. First of all, to put this in, you're going to have to start by removing your little piece here. It just pops off into a little push tab. You just grab it right there and pull it off. Of course, after you remove the seat. All the wires are going to be routed from the battery area, which is here. There are holes here and here for your positive and your negative. These wires will fit perfectly. You won't have to do any cutting, splicing, trimming, shortening, or lengthening of your wires. It will fit perfectly on every can -Am. Um, There is a... Con or not, I guess it's a contactor switch inside of here that you won't be able to see that you have to build, but it's back here behind your rear fender. And I like this about it a lot. Usually your contactor is, or your switching unit solenoid, however you want to call it, usually this is sitting back there with your battery, but there's actually a triangular looking bracket that it specifically sits on. You can see there's two bolts that go there, and then one bolt down here, which you can tell those are zip ties holding it in because there are no threads on mine. I don't know if it just didn't get it from the factory or if maybe these bolts are supposed to self-tap, but that does not look like a self-tapping screw to me. It came with these, and this is what happened to the first one I tried to put in there. As you can see, there's no threads left on it. So that idea was scrapped and I had enough zip ties that I just figured I'd zip tie it in there, but it's Nice and secure, it's not going to go anywhere. The wires I routed around the back of the shock, and it will actually show you in the pictures exactly how you should have your terminals pointed off of your solenoid or activator, whatever you want to call it. It will run down this square part of tubing frame and then connect right down here. But I do want to show you one major important thing that you're going to have to, it doesn't show you a picture for this, it actually just tells you that you have to do it. and this isn't like most kits. That solenoid is not powered until you actually hook a, another wire to it. There's a wire back here under the snorkel. You might not have this or you might have it if you have an XMR. Um, or if you have a base model you won't have it. But you want to undo this one bolt that holds the hose on. It's actually going to be hidden up under this little flap. You take this out of the way and there's a white connector right there that's going to be holding a black connector going into it. You unplug that and you plug this in line with it. It already comes hooked up on the switch so you're not going to have to do anything. The only thing it prevents is you can hear I can't activate it. So you can't activate the winch while the vehicle is just sitting, which I like. This is very nice. But to get to that, if you have XMR, you have to remove your radiator cap and then you have to pull your dash up. It doesn't matter which model you have, you have to take that up. But I figured I'd show you. I got the 30, the 35 series, so it's 3,500 pounds. It should be a good winch. I don't think it's fully sealed, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't have synthetic rope, but I mean, for 350 bucks, it's a great winch that I feel is going to work very well for this machine. And you can check out the full review that I'm going to do on this 570 in another video.